Hello! I'm Mike Like, and this is the Banner Saga. I keep saying I want to say Bonner Saga. I don't know why. Anywho, in the last episode, we had a fight. Because these guys wanted to leave the village. And the other villagers wanted them to stay. And we beat some sense into them. Unfortunately, Ivor went down and was injured. But that's the only injury we got, and two of our people got promoted. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Gil, and it might have been Rook. We don't know what happened to Alette. Let's talk about Alette now. But anyway, let's get this started. The brothers thank you with a wide, with wide grins. Soon many villagers have joined your caravan. You scan around anxiously for Alette, who has gone missing when the fighting began. Eventually, you find her watching from afar. Olgan returns at that moment, introducing you to his son and wife, and you soon set out again. One second. Uh, soon set out again. 22 fighters. Oh god, morale is down. 30 supplies, that's good. Shoot, I clicked too quick. Alette, I have something for you. Old Oddleaf, I keep calling her Old Leaf, Oddleaf, has gathered up the long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Alette. What's this about? I was hoping you sew up the banner with everything that has happened since we left Golgar. Come find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Before you can comment, she departs. Dad, are you the chieftain now? I don't know. Oh, then that means we're both quiet for a moment while well, it unfurls the banner. Oddleaf has been teaching me how to sew. She speaks pretty highly of you. Can we read the part about mom? You nod. On the banner has been sewn the story of the families who have lived in Skogar throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. I wish she was here. But I'm glad, well, I'm kind of glad she isn't. The six in a banner about your family is short. The Let has been sewing in colorful designs. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this. Dredge, leaving home, and... Why did you have to kill those men in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. I had to make a hard choice. Because the Dredge are terrifying. Every time we had to fight them... I just want to run, but I don't want to kill a person. Please. Are you mad at me? I'm glad you don't want to. Alette smiles at this, then her face sinks again. I guess I would do it if I really had to, but do we have to? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know, Dad. I think we're going, we're, you're doing a good job. She hugs you. You spend the rest of your time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better or worse, the story of Skogar is your bird now. Oh, the banner saga. Now it all makes sense. I'm a little bit slow. Wow, that's a lot of tense. Normal morale. That's good. Heroes. Oh, I can promote people. He's injured for two days. That's not good. That's really not good. Uh, did you know? Ivor? He was promoted. Okay. Mogan. Ah, uh, continue. So, this guy has some neat abilities. Thrasher strikes multiple times randomly hitting his opponent for one strength or one armor damage. And the last hit, Bloody Flail does damage equal to one plus one for each ally standing adjacent to him. This last hit will randomly damage strength or armor. Bloody Flail does direct damage, making it useful even when the Thrasher is near death. For this reason, it also does a good job of taking out wounded enemies who still have a lot of armor by bypassing it completely. Okay. Interesting. What's this story? 
Logan and his brother Hogan have gotten the same questions their entire lives. You don't find many twins about, and even fewer know how to use an axe. Logan tends to be the sort of act first and think later. It may explain his scar, among other things. Oh, yeah, he does have a scar. It actually looks like a more realistic scar. Usually you see in fiction, like they get a scar across their nose or scar down their eyes. This looks like, I don't know, <laughs> you run through the woods too fast. <laughs> and get a branch across the nose. So I want this guy to have some more strength. And some more of this. I think I've been doing that with all these guys. Somebody you can, you can say in the comments if you want. If, <laughs> if I'm completely screwing up by doing this. But that's what I think I'm going to do. Hogan can't be promoted. I can promote this guy. Good. It's all good. What do I want from him? What is he going to gain? Uh, the Braid Master braces for impact with his heavy shield, resisting damage from each strike for the next turn. Each hit the Braid Master takes to either strength or armor is reduced, bringing him from taking permanent damage to either. The Braid Master can use Stone Wall to rush into a group of enemies and gain a forward advantage or step in the way of a powerful enemy to block his movement with impunity. Okay, so I definitely want this with him. Is that what I wanted? Yeah. I want two of them though. What's that one again? Middle willpower you can use on any given and any given action. That's interesting. I'll give him two of these. No, no. Okay. I'll go talk to her. And that guy is hurt for two days, isn't he? No, that's not what I wanted at all. It's this button. Um, how do I get out of here? Crap on a stick. God darn Oh, okay. I thought I screwed up. <laughs> uh, heroes. He's in here for two days. I don't know what I want. Maybe a rest for one day, maybe? Is there a market here? There is no market. And I have supplies for nine days. Who's this guy? Is that Ivor? Let's go talk to her. How are you doing, Odd? <laughs> I'm alright. Not at first. Sometimes when a loved one dies, people say it doesn't sink in for a while. It sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. It's funny, my father named me Oddly before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? I never care for that expression. I never care for that expression? What does that supposed to mean? People look up to you. Don't take this the wrong way, but I don't want to be known for handling my feelings. If I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Why does that feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. You're not sure what to say. In the many years you've known the Chieftain's wife, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you? Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. You asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. Your family, you should carry it. You're right, I should. It should be mine. I could carry it, but I thought about why he named you. I get it. They won't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our banner would be divided. 
I think they would follow you. Come on, Rook. This is a time for pretend. It's not just about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? How will that go? And the first time someone thinks they can take advantage of us. I think this is what has to happen. <laughs> she looks sideways, eventually giving you a timid smile. I'm not sure if that's the dumbest thing I've heard or the sweetest. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is, my husband and I will never have a child. I could never have a child. I don't want our banner to end here. It'll be safe with you and Alette. I know you're going to take care of her. He puts her hand on your shoulder as she is back to the camp. Hey. Now should I rest? There is no marketplace and I only have supplies for nine days. But he's hurt. I think I'm going to rest for one day. And now we're going to leave. Where do we get... Oh, because those guys joined us. At a small split in the trail, a few fighters stopped to speak with you, each carrying a single pack. We recognize this place, one man says. Spent several years here with some kin. If they're still around, we had to warn them of what's coming. The flock will find you again in less than a week. Ooh, so this is hard. See them off with extra supplies? I just spent some friggin' supplies. Wish the fire's well. Okay. You nod your understanding. Kin is kin, you say. Do you want... Do what you want to protect him. The man claps you on the shoulder and the fighters depart. Minus eight fighters. That's not good. Okay. Complaints of range farters. Is that guy who got drunk before? Excessive drinking at resurface. This time the man has stumbled over some tent ropes, pulling the snake canvas through a campfire, nearly setting a supply wagon on a flame. Kaz Klan's been put at the fire, but both the wagon and range fire lag before leading him to you. This man drinks nothing but water from now on. Rain Father groggily agrees, swearing his way through promises to quit being such a nuisance. Many of the on eh, onlookers snort or roll their eyes, but go back to their business. Somehow you doubt it'll be long before Rain Father manages to find another drink, whether you allow it or not. How come I have zero viral? Dredge! shouts the man from the back of the caravan. It's range water. Don Bash is drunk, staggering towards you, looking not entirely sober. He screams again, pointing to the trees in the distance. He screams again. Well, fear races across the caravan as fighters pull their we weapons. Scouts return with no sightings, and furious men surround range water. Oh god, what do we do? Your clansmen deliver justice. A swift and brutal beating befalls Rainswater, one that leaves him begging for mercy. Next time he's offered mead, the man shies away in fear. As for the rest of the caravan, everyone seems pretty fair of satisfied. And we attack by Dredge. No? Once a strong, thriving city, the walls of Frostvetler now just keep the howling winds at bay. With luck, they'll hold out against Dredge as well. Okay. Oh, there he is. I still don't know why I say zero varl when he is clearly a varl. <laughs> Ooh, there's our banner. I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> you jostle through foul crowds of sunken faces, it appear as though they've been freezing in front of Frostville for days. The gates are closed. You come to a stop at the bottom of the hill. Oh, great. This is not looking good. Why are there so many people in the fields? 
We can't stay outside in the open like this. Oddly finds you amongst the many refugees. Rook, I just talked to some of the women here. Nobody is being let into the city. Why? It's overrun from Varro, from Blotzwager, Greyhorn, people from Bitra. All the nearby villages. The dredge are everywhere. And the chieftain of Frostville has locked himself in this great hall. That's when the, they close the gates. When the dredge comes, these hills will run red. We have to get in there. Okay. I want to know more about what's going on in here. In there. I see a lot of people gather around the rest uh, rest home houses and the gates. We can find out what they know. How would we get in anyway? They closed the gate. I can't get that gate open. Let's see if there's any other way before we start breaking down gates. Wasn't going to break it. Just push really hard. <laughs> okay, my guy is peeled, I guess. Well, everybody is rank two except him. I could rest here, or I could go up to the gate. What happens if I go up to the gate? You approach the gate where hundreds of people have gathered in a trodden bloody space in front of the doors. Several pin Christian bodies lie unclaimed as though they simply belong there. Christ. Archers up on the walls make clear that nobody will be getting in. Men and women blow intermittently call for mercy and reason when they're not flinging stones and curses. Ivor, did you really expect to push these gates open? Find out more from the crowd. Okay. Find out more from the crowd. We spent an hour talking to different people who all have the same story. A couple of days ago, the chieftain shut himself in, closed the gates and refused any more refugees. They got used stores and supplies in there too, as one man, just as hoarding them. Eagle pulls you aside. I was following the outside of these walls, he said, and there's a water passage we could squeeze through, I think. Not the old caravan, but if a handful of us get in, we might open the gates from the inside. Okay. Check out the water passage. I'm not fitting through there, says Ivor, when you arrive at the narrow duck. Go without me. It looks like it'll get you on top of the walls and then down to the gate where you can open it. I've had bad, I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go back. Archer of one mall made it clear. Shout at the guards on the wall. You shout to the archers, not expecting much. You get as much response as you expected. Okay. You leave the crowds, head back down the hill. There are a lot of people gathered around the rest of the house, as we pointing. Maybe we can find elf there, or at least make ourselves useful. Okay. Um, there was the other spot we could... Well, I guess we're going in... The water duct. Okay. Ivor, did you really expect to push these gates open? I'm willing to try, grunts Ivor. Despite sizing up doors that look like they can hold back an army. And when men start shooting arrows and pouring out to stop you, then you'll kill them, he says. You're not sure this is the most sound plan. We're not doing this. This is a terrible idea, you say. We don't even know how many are in there, Ivor folds his arms. He seems almost relieved that he didn't have to live up to his earlier boast. <laughs> That's good. Archers upon the wall and make clear. Okay. Now what? Come I can't try the duct again. Oh, mark it. What? Well, anyway, that's all the time we have for this one. Too bad we didn't have a fight. There's a lot of exposition. Um, I hope you enjoy watching. And thank you for watching. It's always appreciated. I'm a small YouTuber, and all those likes, comments, and subscribers are really appreciated. 
And until the next one, which should be long shortly, thank you for watching, and see you until then. Goodbye! Well, I'm gonna turn this thing over. Parking brake. Get the winch. No, winch, I said. Oh. And the roads there don't look great. Not gonna lie. I'll probably come along here and go up to that way. Try to get over to this road. Let me do some exploring. Okay, on our way.